Total War Winter Special was a series of five stages that are all pretty difficult, but I found the first three way easier. Uh, just use the time markers if you need to see the fourth or fifth one. But uh, for this first stage, I found that there was just a couple hippos at the beginning. And once you hit the base, there was this special sloth variant that had 350 range, but it also had way higher damage, DPS, and attack speed than the normal sloth. So just bring some wave attackers and anything with over 350 range to kill those. Uh, this enemy will be appearing in almost every single stage following this, so do be aware of that. And two units I found really helpful in almost all of these stages were Masked Grandmaster Cat, which is Hermit Cat's true form, as well as Cat God. The thing about all these Dance of Winter stages is that the first four stages have very short stage length, and what I mean by this is the distance between your base and the enemy base is very tiny, as you can see in this first stage right here. Uh, you're very close to the enemy base, which is what makes Cat God so good, because he has a 850 range Omni Strike, so basically he can stand up to 850 a range away from the enemy base, and he'll just stand there and attack. I found that really useful for knocking back all the enemies, and he's able to hit the backliners by doing this. So Cat God is really good. Any wave attackers you have, like Mask Grandmaster Cat, uh, Manic Macho Legs was brought in almost every stage for me. Oh, okay, here's the next recurring enemy. So you see this Dark Emperor Nyandam variant. He is similar, but also very different to the normal Dark Emperor Nyandam. If you haven't noticed, uh, this Dark Emperor Nyandam has rapid attacks, meaning he just never stops attacking. It's super annoying. Uh, he also has the freeze ability. He can freeze your cats for a couple seconds. And so it seems like he's just a stronger version of the normal Nyandam, but this one has way less health than the normal variant. I don't know why, it just does. So that's why the wave attackers are so good in these stages, and thanks with LD and Omnistrike like Cat God. So what you want to do in this stage is just kill all of the frontliners, which are the Hippos and the Bun Bun. And after that, just play Awakened Bahamut, and he'll quickly finish off these very glass cannon-like Nyandams. Alright, this is the first stage I used an Uber in, don't get mad at me. Uh, I didn't need to bring Ramael, you don't need him at all. I just, look how short the stage length is, alright? You're gonna see me use Ramael, and it just looks really awesome. That's the reason I brought Ramael, you don't need him. I repeat, you do not need him, you can just bring Bandic Macho Legs or just anything else. This stage was again, not that hard, it was easier than the second one in my opinion. Uh, just because, since there's more emphasis on angels and stuff, uh, I've just found it easier to hold them off with ramen. And also, I can now use Time Traveler Cat, and he's really effective because there's angels and reds in the stage. Uh, as well as Time Traveler Cat outranging the sloth variant, so this stage was pretty easy. You can just use the time markers to skip to the next one uh, if you're not interested in the epic Ramael attacks. Sadly, for any of you who aren't caught up in Cats of the Cosmos, this stage does feature one starred alien, that being Ultra Baba. Uh, I'm not sure how many starred alien treasures you need to be able to kill it. Uh, I have all three chapters worth. You need at least two chapters worth, because to my memory, uh, last year when this stage was out, I was unable to beat it because I didn't have enough starred alien treasures. So even though I did have a barrier breaker, the Baba was just so powerful. It just insta-killed all my units and had too, way too much health, so I couldn't win. So, if you don't have all of the Cats of the Cosmos treasures, I'm sorry. Uh, try to get as many as you can before you do this stage, or you're just barred here. But for the few that do, this stage is not- this stage is still pretty difficult, even if you have them. Uh, before base hit, just some zombie doges spawn along with these Ultra Babas and Hippos. You can easily just fend them off by spamming meat shields and attackers. But eventually you will hit the base, and that's when the main threat spawns. That being yet another sloth, as well as these uh, zombie mini cyclones that periodically spawn. 
these guys are a real nuisance because they'll burrow under your front line and just with these short stage lengths they'll just go to the middle of the map and completely decimate you and cut you off so what i recommend doing is bringing the holy blast cat cannon i didn't bring it but i still won by the skin of my teeth uh, it's a whole lot safer if you bring it though so yeah bring the holy blast cat cannon and whenever there's a cyclone just blast it so it gets resurfaced again. Some other thing, good things to bring are cat cannon recharge up combos so you can constantly be blasting the holy blast uh, as well as welterweight because he has the knockback against zombie ability so if there's a cyclone that manages to get on top of your base you can deploy a welterweight to just slap him off and knock him back. Uh, so yeah this stage was pretty challenging for me. Uh, I barely won. I got really lucky with Uru Run knocking back the cyclone that was hitting my base. And of course, Cat God sadly died because I did not bring Holy Blast. But if you do that, it should be a whole lot easier. And eventually, the Zyclones and uh, the Zombie Pigs will die down. And you basically have a free win from this point, just using Uru Run or whatever backliner you have to chip down and kill these Lucky Sloth variants. Because again, they only have 350 range, unlike the normal Sloths. Alright, we're now on to the fifth and final stage. Uh, as you can see, I had to uber carry it with Matama. Unlike the third stage where I used Ramael just for fun, I am now using Matama out of necessity because I couldn't beat this stage. Uh, the problem with it is so at the beginning, a ton of these lucky sloths spawn, as well as a couple of the hippos. And once you reach like the 30 second mark, the Dark Emperor Nine Dam starts spawning. And then at the 50 second mark, a hacky spawns. It's just a nightmare. Uh, this stage was terrible. There's so many super boosted enemies that spawn, like the hippo spam was too much. That's why I brought Dark Matama to just take care of them all. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm low skill. Uh, the problem is, Cyberpunk would be really helpful in this stage, but since there's a hacky in it, he'll be able to just snipe Cyberpunk instantly, so you actually can't bring him, sadly. Cat God does kind of work. I tried to make Cat God work, but you have to time him really well. Uh, if you bring Cat God, you have to immediately deploy a Can Can, and then immediately deploy Cat God, and just the logistics are so annoying because half the time Cat God will just die instantly. He doesn't knock them back frequently enough to survive. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything that could really help you in this stage. I guess any sort of like uh, wave attackers help, that's a fact. Uh, you have to use the wave attackers to kill the Dark Emperor Nine Dams. The Slavs are a lot tankier, unfortunately, so they don't die right away. I found Drama Cats really helpful because they have 355 range, so they just barely outrange the sloths. But really, the biggest problem in this stage is keeping the hippos away from you, because they get spammed so freaking much, and if they get too close to your base, the hacky can two-shot your base. The hacky has like 100,000 damage or something ridiculous like that, so if he gets anywhere near your base, you're done. Uh, that's the most. That's the hardest part of the stage, it's the freaking hacky who's in the way. So, I'm trying to think of some method to do this without my scummy uber carry. I guess you'd have to bring a bunch of anti-traitless CC, like Vendor Cat. Uh, I think Glass Cat could kind of help, but the problem is the sheer spam of the hippos. Like, just stopping one isn't enough. I guess Driller Cat could be pretty good. Uh, as well, of course, if you have Professor Cat Jobs, he's excellent in this stage. He's probably he's not as good as Crowd Control as Matama, but he's still pretty darn good. Uh, if you beat the stage without any, like, collab units or gotcha units or anything scummy like I did, please comment how you beat it, because I cannot imagine beating the stage without Matama. But that's about it for this video, hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next video, which will probably be the Ragnarok unit review.